Nepal. <laughs> My mom is making bread and cookies, um, and I'm exhausted, so I'm just standing here giving moral support. It's little, little Alex on the fridge. He's gonna be so mad that I put this in the video, but that's not my problem. Which one? Yeah, that's you. Oh, that's me! Yes, that's me! <laughs> Looks like Alex, too. <laughs> the annoying thing is, is that yes, my brother did live here last, but he has like a room to himself. Like, he has his room. I've moved things around in there and I told him about it and he's really mad at me. Like, he is so mad. You're not I'm here, not Alex. Here. You're not here. I get to do this. I need closet space. <laughs> the bread is now going into the oven, right, Mother? Yeah. I'm no, it's gonna so raise for useless. For an hour. <laughs> oh, it has to raise for an hour. <gasps> I can't even eat it yet. <laughs> no. It says subscribe for a cookie. Yeah. I'll make you a cookie if you subscribe. Mm. Now we are at Pascaline and Steven's beautiful apartment here in Kevindu, and you don't feel like you're in Kevindu, and they are giving us a really nice dinner from where? Vivanta, right? Vivanta. Vivanta. Now we're eating spicy food, and it's been a while, like a while. I got distracted, but it's so spicy. I'm I'm gonna cry. Oh, chili these ones are not spicy. No, but this these sauces have this like chili in it. That's just it's not the quick chili. It's no. the slow burn. You have such a beautiful coat, you know. You're such a beautiful duck. Yeah. Bye. See you later. <laughs> okay, so today is Sunday, and um, now we're walking to one of our. <laughs> Look at this, guys. <laughs> Imagine if I walked into that while I was vlogging. That's terrifying. Anyways, um, so now we're walking over to one of our favorite cafes and they have like really good smoothie bowls and coffee and good stuff. So we're gonna go over there. We can't drive today because today is election day here in Nepal. And so you're not allowed to drive so that everyone can go and vote and that everyone has access to go voting. And you have to like vote in the region that you're from. So I think a lot of people have left the city to go home and vote. And that's like the way it works as well. Oh, I'm out of breath already because the altitude is so tough. It's a beautiful day and I'm wearing a t-shirt outside. I think it's like 22 degrees and I think there's a UV index of like six or something. So that's really nice. So this is like Jowlik Hill, an area where the zoo and like a lot of restaurants and stuff are. Sport style from Denmark. Okay, so now we're at the Jalakel roundabout and this is like the a really popular neighborhood for restaurants and living and everything like that. And then over here we have a um, voting area. So everyone over here is voting. And that's pretty cool that they're voting here. Democracy is a new concept here in Nepal, so it's pretty awesome to see all these people turn out and vote. Good job guys. <laughs> The zoo's in there, and I'm pretty sure that's the leopard sanctuary from the trees that I recognize. So, yeah, they're just uh, over the wall over here. So I actually spent a lot of time in this neighborhood because they have, like I've said, all the restaurants and the cafes here. So this is normally where we would come out and eat. Um, and then there's like another side of town, like Tamel area, where they have also a lot of restaurants and bars and cafes and stuff so this is like one part one main part and then there's like some random places and then Tamel um, so this is one of our cafes that we go to called Kairos local coffee um, and it's a cute little place oh so they have people so staying that's why they, that makes sense beautiful a latte look at that um, and it's local coffee, actually, from Nepal. And then we ordered fresh watermelon juice. So we are happy, happy, happy. Mm. Now I'm having the famous Kairos coffee and it is so good. Oh. Can't even like compare that. That's really good. Mm. 
they usually have like everything in there that you need. Um, not like a wide selection, but yeah, it's pretty good. I'll see if I can get into one later. It's kind of fun to go into those little kiosks. <laughs> cafe culture here as you can tell and they actually I think they all use local coffee yeah. beans as well um, and Cafe Soma is like one of our favorite spots to go for breakfast and brunch and stuff but it's closed so but we'll go back it's awesome that they have a new place look at that that's just it's you can see the cloud of pollution around it <laughs> In Nepal, we have this dish called the momo, and this is the symbol for it in Nepalese. Those two letters in red. And they serve fresh momos in this place. Pretty awesome. And it's like a very, like, it's like a snack food, but it can also be dinner, and you usually dip it. I'll see if we can find some, because then we can taste it. But we have our plate, favorite place to go for that. Oh, the chips. <laughs> I grew up eating those chips. Really big mall called Lubby Mall, and in there you can get like a cinema, some shops, cafes, um, and sell. <laughs> Sponsor me. <laughs> Petrol tank. Uh, kind of fun. No, this is the fire station. This is the fire station. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, we can still get kebab here. As you can tell, we got the corner kebab. Okay, so now I am going to drive. And um, I have a license, don't worry, but I haven't driven in Kathmandu in a long time. The last time I drove was practicing with dad in Baisapati. So um, let's see if I can do this. Oh, there's a stuff. big pothole. Yes. Really slow in. Bloop, bloop. Yes. <laughs> and I'm also on the other side of the car. Mm -hmm. So windy. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I feel like in general people don't drive very fast here. No. Because they all are looking out but for But you cannot wait for in, in normal traffic, you cannot wait for people to, to stop, stop for you. For I, I, I I get it. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright? Yeah. It's so beautiful out. Like the sunshine is amazing. I I'm in love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you like and subscribe below and I will be coming with more Nepal content when everything is open. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video so far and my life here in Kathmandu. Make sure you comment if you want to see anything specific. I will be going around to like different restaurants and like different parts of Kathmandu to show more detail, but I'll make that in like specific videos so that it's not like a generic intro. I'm just in awe. <laughs>